What's going on guys and welcome back to yet another video on One Rovers Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing well and as you can see by the title this is going to be my final League 2 table predictions. Of course I wanted to wait till January gets out of the way so all the transfers and teams are sorted. Of course if you think I'm wrong or if you disagree with any of my team selections then make sure you let me know down in the comments below of course this is only my opinion of course football is all about opinions make sure you leave a like on the video if you do enjoy as well and subscribe if you're new as well but yeah getting into it starting off with the bottom two i've gone with the same teams that are already there uh scumfort being bottom of the league and oldham being second bottom i know Scunny and Oldham have both struggled all season and I know they got a lot of problems uh, going off the pitch as well. Uh, but I just think their their teams are, are too weak in my opinion. I know Scunthorpe have done quite a lot of business over the January transfer window. But for me, I still think their team's really poor. Uh, hopefully... You know, for their, you know, for the fans' sake, they can get out of the trouble because it's never nice to, you know, get relegated. You know, I know that from being a Rovers fan when we got relegated out of the football league um, to the conference. So, but yeah, I think Oldham and Scunthorpe are the bottom two, and it will stay like that for the rest of the season. Uh, going into twenty second, I think Colchester uh, will will just be okay to beat the drop. Uh, they've brought in some decent players over the January transfer window, and I think they'll. Just be okay to stay in the league again. Uh, 21st, I've gone with Walsall. Um, this is mainly from, you know, after watching them play the other day, uh, you know, they really struggled against 10 men and probably one of the worst teams I've seen this season. Uh, you know, all bias aside. And yeah, I, I just think they'll, they'll struggle unless there's a managerial change. I don't think... Um, you know, they've done okay business bringing in Devante, Rodney and Devine in January, but I think their team's pretty poor and I but I, I think they'll they'll be okay for another season in League Two. Next up in 20th, I've gone with Barrow. Uh same again, I think their fans will be quite happy with another season in the Football League. I know they got a good result the, the other night against Northampton, and to be fair, they have brought in some decent experienced uh Football League players like uh Amadi Holloway. Uh, who scored the other night, and yeah, I think they'll be all right for another season as well in League Two. Going into 19th, I've gone with Hartlepool. Uh, obviously, they had a very good start. I think things would be different if Chano was still there. I know they had the best home form just before he left, but I know it's gone a bit downhill, and certain players have left and certain players have come in. Uh, but yeah, I think they'll. They'll struggle a little bit uh, just because I think their team's pretty weak. Although they did play well against us when we beat them 2-0 uh, at home, but they just couldn't finish. And I think that is the, the problem for Hartlepool. But I think they'll be okay in 19th. 18th, I've gone with Paul Tisdale, Stevenage. Again, they've got an all right side. They've picked up some decent results. But again, I think Stevenage fans will be pretty happy overall to finish 18th. Uh, 17th, I've gone with Carlisle. Uh, of course, they had a really poor start to the season and they've been doing a lot better. I think they've only lost once since they brought in Keith Millen. And to be fair, they had a pretty decent uh, transfer window as well, bringing in the likes of uh, Amari Patry back to the club and some other good signings. So yeah, I think they'll they'll be pretty happy with that uh, Carlisle fan. 16th, I've gone with Rochdale. Uh, of course, they lost their two big players in this January transfer window, the likes of Morley and Beasley. Uh, they brought in the likes of Luke Charman and Campbell. Uh, you know, they've got they've got an all right squad, but again, I think think they'll be pretty happy. I think they've got quite a, a low budget, you know, one of the lowest budgets in the league, and I think they'll be pretty happy to finish in 16th. 15th, I've gone with Harrogate. I know they started really well uh, pretty much most of this season, apart from the last sort of couple of months. Uh, but I, again, I think Harrogate fans will be uh, very happy, you know, with the job Weaver and, and the team's doing. Of course, they got some decent players as well, brought the likes of Diamond back in January on loan as well. So yeah, 15th for Harrogate. 14th, I've gone for Crawley. Again, uh, another team with a very small budget. Uh, you know, their manager, you know, love his rants, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I think... I think they'll be okay. I think they've got enough um, quality and enough experience. You know, to be fair, they've picked up some pretty decent results as of late. And like I said, with the budget they're on, I think their fans will be pretty happy to finish around mid-table. 13th, I've gone with Bradford. They're, 
they're a weird team, uh, you know, for me. They've they've got a lot of quality in the squad, but it's just the way, you know, their 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 manager, uh, Derek Adams, sets them up. You know, I I I've seen um shout out to SHD as well, Sam who who's a vlogger for Bradford. And it's just, you know, very quite a toxic club at the moment because they're they've got decent squad but they they just don't pick up enough wins to me personally so i think um i think it'd definitely be an underachieving season i had them up there in the top four at the start of the season but yeah it looks like they'll be pretty much mid-table for me of course leave your thoughts down in the comments like i said if any of you disagree uh 12th i've gone with Leighton orin again i had them up there in the top five i think at the start of the season uh of course they're on a bit of a bad run of games at the moment without a winning in quite a while and they've got a good team to be fair and their two strikers have done very well for them of course both new signings Drinan and Harry Smith in the summer but again for me they just pick up too many draws um they could still be up there but for me personally I think they'll just be sort of mid-table-ish and they'll go again next season uh 11th I've gone with Salford um uh, and it's the same really again you know They've got a good team. They've, of course, put a lot of money in, you know, their transfer budget in players in the summer, the likes of Lund. Uh, you know, of course, they've got the likes of Ian Henderson. And to be fair, they had a pretty good January as well, bringing in Ryan Watson, Matt Smith, you know, uh, playing in the championship a lot. But for me, again, it's it's about consistency. And I think they are a bit too inconsistent. And to be fair, I know even though we drew with them a couple of months ago away at their place, you know, we absolutely battered them. I don't know how we drew that game. But yeah, I, I just think they're not as good as their team is on paper for me personally. Uh, so going into the top 10 now, I've gone with Exeter on 10th uh, again uh, a quality side they battered us um, quite a few months ago at their place 4-1 but for me again I think they rely too much on the likes of Matt J uh, I know they've got good players like Giovanni Brown but again for me they just pick up too many draws you know it could all change come the second part of the season but for me Exeter will be in 10th uh, ninth, again, I've gone with Swindon Town. Uh, for me, I think the players that they've lost, of course, they had King Kesler Hayden, Romari Quichlow, and Simpson, the striker up front, who were doing really well. I think they will still do well, but I think they'll just miss out on playoffs for me. I think those three players were vital, especially Kesler Hayden and Simpson for them. Of course, Simpson had a good partnership with McCurdy and Ke Ken Kesler Hayden for me uh, is the best wing back I've seen this season. Uh, so yeah, ninth for me uh, for Swindon. Eighth, I've gone with Northampton again. We played them a uh, couple of months back. I, I didn't rate them at all. I know they're doing pretty well at the moment, but I just think they don't have enough quality going forward. I know they've got a pretty good defence, but for me, of course, they had a Tete on loan at Tottenham who was doing really well there. And for me, I don't think they've strengthened that well um, in the striker department. But, of course, things could change and I could look like an idiot come the end of the season. Uh, seventh uh, in the first... Uh, playoff place I've gone with Port Vale I think they've done pretty good business of course got a quality manager in Daryl Clark and the likes of James Wilson they brought in Harry Charlesley for Mansfield as well and uh, Hussey and the, also the Oxford winger as well and for me done pretty good business and I think they'll be in the playoffs come the end of the season sixth place uh, call me bias I've gone with my own club uh, Bristol Rovers uh, I think now we've got uh, pretty much all our players back from injury I think we've definitely got the squad depth and the quality um, to hopefully now go on a bit more of a longer run uh, like you know basically all season we've had so many injuries as well Probably one of the most in the league, you know, at one stage we had 12 or 13 players out injured. So, yeah, for me, now our players are all back. I think we'll just get in the playoffs. Uh, fifth, I've gone with a team that's, of course, just come up uh, uh, to League Two, and that is Sutton. I think they're doing an incredible job, you know, the manager, the budget they're on. And pretty much the, they haven't really made too many signings in January or in the summer. I think they've just got the that same mentality and the, a really good group of players that you know want to do well and are on a high after getting um, you know promoted by winning the the national league. So yeah, fifth for Sutton. Fourth, I've gone for Newport uh, again. Uh, 
got a very good manager, done very well this season. Of course, Telford is having the season of his life, and they still uh, pretty much kept all their loan players as well. You know, Cooper, Baker Richardson is doing very well also. And yeah, for me, fourth for Newport. Third, I've gone with Mansfield. Um, you know, got a great manager. And it was a bit like us, you know, the start of the season, uh, doing very, very bad. You know, they were like 19th at one stage, only, what, two months ago, two and a half months ago, and now they're, you know, in the top five doing very well and you know their business they've done in January is probably up there with with one of the best any league two clubs ever had in a transfer window bringing in the likes of Longstaff, Lucas Aikens, um, you know really really good players in as well so and also the likes of Jamie Murphy who previously worked at Burton with Clough as well yeah so third for Mansfield, second I've gone with Tranmere again a very good squad um, done some pretty good business as well, bringing in the likes of Hemmings and O'Connor from Selwig on a permanent deal. Uh, and yeah, very good squad. Don't concede many goals at all. Uh, yeah, for me, they'll be going up automatically and winning the league. Uh, no surprises really, and that is Forest Green. Uh, very, very good squad. Pre again, pretty much, uh, you know, not really many signings in or out in the summer. They've pretty much kept the same group of players and. They they have been a bit lucky with injuries, but you know you need you do need that bit of luck when you're you, you know want to win the league. Yeah, so yeah, for me, uh, I've gone with Forest Green to win the league. So yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Like I said, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Leave any thoughts down in the comments. Do subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.